Now, if you clicked on this video, you are in need of a jump shot and you are very, not me, not struggling to shoot, but y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all need a jump shot badly and y'all have came to the right place. This is gonna be a super short video, probably even just a minute long, maybe two minutes, just of me showing y'all my jump shot. Now in park, I shoot um, 48.9% from the field. I shoot a very good amount too. It's not like I'm only shooting one shot a game. I'm shooting three to four shots every game basically. So yeah, I'm, I'm shooting basically 50% a game. So the jump shot, let's go over the jump shot right now. I've posted this jump shot before, but I feel like I should post it again. This is probably the last time I'll post this jump shot though. Um, and yeah, let me go test one. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is, is you're gonna wanna go JT Thor for the base. You're gonna wanna go Paul George for the upper one. And you're gonna wanna go Benedict Matherin for the upper two. So boom, right, where is here, here, here. So you're gonna wanna go max release speed and you're gonna wanna go 69.31 for the blending. Now this jump shot is very consistent um, I'll show y'all what timing I hold, but my biggest amount of advice that I can give for shooting this year is use one jump shot, get used to that jump shot, and use one timing also. Don't switch jump shots a lot. Get used to it, you know, play a good amount with it, and figure out the jump shot, you know, all that type of stuff. Like, just use one jump shot, I'm telling y'all. But the controller settings, the timing is set point, which is basically early. Um, like I said, just use one, use one shot timing, use one jump shot, I'm telling y'all, y'all will have more success. And um, yeah, that's really about it. It's been grateful and I'm out, peace.